Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you plotting E field and voltage for concentric charger spheres using ANSYS Maxwell 3D. To set up simulation, let us start with a new project by clicking on the new and here inserting a Maxwell 3D design. Now let us rename this project as concentric spheres. After that, let us create the geometry. To create geometry, first let us add the sphere at the origin of this coordinate system. Here you can see a sphere is created. You just click on the solids and you can see here that sphere is highlighted. Now double click on the sphere and give the radius as 5 millimeters. Then you make two copies of this sphere one. To make that, let us select the sphere 1, Control C and then two times you just press Control V. So you will get two copies here. So now totally we have sphere 1, sphere 2 and sphere 3. Let us give this sphere 2 10 millimeter as a radius and for sphere 3 let us enter 15 millimeters as a radius. Now let us add some transparency to the sphere 2 and sphere 3. So for that double click on sphere 2. just click on transparent and increase the transparency level. Click OK. Similarly, you do it for sphere 3. Now, you select sphere 1 and sphere 2, make a copy of it. So, you got sphere 4 and sphere 5 after making copy of sphere 1 and sphere 2. Now, let us select sphere 2 and sphere 4, do the subtraction here. Similarly, you select sphere 3 and sphere 5, do the subtraction again. Now let us assign sphere 1 and sphere 3 with a charge and sphere 2 as a vacuum without charge. Select sphere 1, right click, click on assign excitation and select charge. Here you can enter 10 E minus 9, that is 10 nano coulomb. Click OK. Similarly, you select sphere 3 and click on assign excitation charge here you can give minus 10 e minus 9 that is minus 10 nano coulomb now we are assigning equal and opposite charges on sphere 1 and sphere 3 leaving aside the sphere 2 as a vacuum after that you go to draw select here region and give the absolute offset as 5 millimeters. Click OK. By right clicking on this region, you can assign excitation as voltage here. The reference value, you can give it as 0 millivolts as it is you can leave and click OK. Now we can see the inner sphere is having charge 1 and outer sphere is having charge 2 and the box is having the reference voltage as a 0 millivolts. To plot the electric field and potential uh, with respect to the distance, we have to draw a line starting from the center of this uh, sphere to the surface of the box. Now the simulation scenario is ready. We have to create analysis setup. So for that click on analysis and add solution setup. Here you can leave this maximum number of passes as 10 and you can enter here percentage as 0.1 and click on OK. Now let us click on this validate button to confirm no errors in the design. To run simulation, click on analyze all. Now the simulation is completed. To see the results, click on this wizard plane, right click somewhere on the screen, click on fields, select E field and E vector, you just click on done. You can see here the electric field is plotted on the charged sphere. Now to see the result of electric field and potential with respect to the distance, you click on results, select here for field reports, click on rectangular plot and select the geometry as polyline 1, select E and voltage, click on new report. Close this 
and you can see here in the y axis we have two y axis the first one is the voltage in kilovolts and the second one is magnitude of electric field in volts per meter so this two graphs will give us the potential variation with respect to distance and the electric field intensity variation with respect to the distance now it is possible for us to make a detailed analysis on uh, the change of charges on the inner sphere and outer sphere uh, and also varying the distance between the uh, inner sphere and outer sphere to do this analysis i have created multiple scenarios by making copies of the original uh, simulation scenario that what i have created so now if i just look into the first scenario this is for uh, q1 is equal to 10 nano coulomb and q2 is equal to minus 10 nano coulomb you can see uh, the voltage and electric field uh, uh, pattern how it is uh, decaying with respect to the distance similarly we have here the electric field lines uh, emanating from the charged sphere this is another case wherein uh, q1 is equal to 10 nano coulomb and q2 is equal to 20 nano coulomb you can see here uh, the voltage uh, is gradually it is decreasing uh, whereas the electric field intensity if you just observe uh, up to 5 it is uh, peaking and afterwards it is decaying again after 10 it is slightly it is raising and it is uh, terminating at 50 then afterwards it is going to be 0 here similarly let us look at uh, the field pattern so here the magnet the electric field is actually uh, more compared to the previous uh, scenario this is another scenario where both charge 1 and charge 2 are made equal and you can see here up to 5 the electric field is increasing and afterwards it is continuously decaying whereas here the potential is uh, increasing and it is uh, coming to a saturation so likewise i have uh, many scenarios here i'll just show you the last scenario of uh, say 20 nano coulomb and q2 is equal to 10 nano coulomb uh, wherein we have uh, this is a field pattern and this will give us uh, the magnitude of electric field per meter and uh, voltage in kilovolts uh, with respect to millimeter that's all in this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share to your friends thank you